Hello, hello, welcome back. My name is Alliance and welcome to This is Alia. Uh, this is an English version of my message before in Swahili and in French and I was talking to parents. So, if you're new here, welcome and please subscribe to this channel to have more messages and don't hesitate to uh, comment or share it. I was talking to parents, parents who have some kind of responsibility or parents who are um, welcoming, you know, have this hospitality and always welcome uh, people in our home, you know, who welcome people in our home when you have teenage children. You both know there are a lot of stories that uh, children have been abused, but uh, the sad part of those story is that some parents do not believe their children when they say they've been abused, especially by pastors or especially by, you know, a high authority or whatever person that you've been inviting to your home. So when do you know that you have crossed the line? Because if you do that, you have crossed the line. When you realize that, because sometimes we do things and we don't realize what we are doing. But I want you to remember, as a woman, I'm going to talk to parents, but I start with the mother. Or let me start with the father. Because, you know, the example you set to your child, that means the love you give him, the affection and the time you give to your family, that's what they will develop for their life tomorrow. Because they are learning from you. And mothers... Remember that when you go to church to pray, you are praying for your husband or you're praying for your children. Don't forget the time where you were pray praying for a husband or children. Now you have them and you're going to church to pray for them. And of course, other things. I'm not saying that that's all you pray about. Everyone have their, you know, prayer request. But your children are in the middle of your prayer request because that's your responsibility. So do not forget that the same children you pray for when you're at church and the husband you pray for, when you will go back home, you will find them. So the love that you had, the worship that you had, bring it back home and introduce it to your family. Create this atmosphere of prayer. Pray with your husband. Pray with your children. Because they are learning from that. And create communication. Because talking to your children, you can learn a lot from them and they learn a lot from you. And that will create also trust. Please don't forget that you are first a mother and a wife before you have a responsibility.